All right, and we are back here on the GSMC Football Podcast. And for the fourth part of the show, we are going to talk about C.J. Stroud. Uh, just some recent comments that he made about going into year two, uh, coming off an impressive rookie season. You know, Texans, a team I'm high on going into the season, and they're looking to do bigger things in year two. So let's get into what Stroud had to say. Uh, he said, definitely a little more confident just knowing how training camp works, the reps I'll take. Uh, going with the ones, last year I really didn't know that until the very beginning of the season. So right now it's just trying to not only build a camaraderie, but also be a leader with the first team, so the second and the third, and everybody who's watching that this is the standard. It's up to me to set the standard, and I have to do that every day. Uh, and let's see. There's a ton of things. Owning the offense more, the operation, putting more on my plate with run checks and protection checks, things like that. Uh, the, mes the message is just keeping, is just keep the main thing the main thing. Of course, we have not a, a, only a lot of expectations. We have a lot of big goals on this team. That's how it should be. You know, the person that always doubts himself will probably never make it. So you have to have confidence and a goal and a plan and execute that plan. That's what we're doing and really... You need to be where your feet are. We're in training camp right now. We've got to just execute that and making sure we're taking every day to get better. So a lot to say there from Stroud. And a Hawaiian in the chat says, I live in Houston and never been to one Texans game. I think you should be. He said, I have a bunch of C.J. Stroud rookie cards. Let's go. I mean, I think that's a team that you should try to you know, make it out to a game and watch because I think they're going to be very exciting to watch. Um, but, yeah, you know, some comments there. And, you know, it's kind of like the same thing when I talked about Jordan Love, you know, in the Packers offense. Like, now they're in year two. You know, now it's all about, you know, advancing and, uh, you know, modifying the offense. You know, and now you kind of got a, an idea. You went through it for a full year. Now it's let's go to stage two now. And that's kind of like with Stroud and the Texans. You know, went through it his rookie season, now has a kind of a better idea, better understanding of how everything works. And I think, um, you know, he's going to go out there and have a good year. However, I did bring this up the other day, but when I was having a conversation with one of my friends, they said they felt like this could be a regression year for the Texans. He talked about Diggs and how, you know, Diggs has kind of been a locker room problem. Um, you know, if he's not getting the ball like he should be. And in this offense, Diggs is not going to get all the targets. The ball is going to be spread around between the pass catchers. He brought up Tank Dell's injury, you know, because Tank Dell, you know, got hurt during the season. And then, um, you know, then what happened later on? Uh you know, recovering from a gunshot wound after that. So it, it's just he's been through a lot. So you don't know how he's going to bounce back on top of the injury that he suffered, you know, during the year. And I don't know. He just he, he just said that he feels like it's going to be a, a, a regression year for Stroud. Now, I didn't, I didn't say this, but what I thought about it was, here, here's the thing. Um, I, there were times where the Texans did struggle on the road. Um, they lost to the Panthers. That was like, think about that. The Panthers were not good last year. They record wise, they were one of the worst teams in football and they beat the Texans. That was one of their wins. And then, you know, you see how the Ravens performed in the, or the Ravens, the, the Texans performed in the playoff game against the Ravens. You know, that, that was a, a hostile environment, you know, colder temperatures, yeah, they, they didn't play that well. So that that's one thing I, I, want, I want to keep an eye on is the Texans playing road games this year. Now, obviously, when they played in Indianapolis, they're, in, you know, they're playing in a dome. And that was a close game that they ended up winning. But when the temperature gets colder, I want to see how Stroud performs in that weather this year. Because I know there's a, there was a couple games... I mean, I forget when the Texans game or the Panthers game won. That, that was earlier in the year. But, you know, the... Ravens game was in late January. So um, that's something that I do want to keep an eye on this year is seeing how does Stroud and that Texans team perform in 
um, you know, in colder temperatures. But, you know, I, 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 I still think that they – I think this team is ta way too talented. I, I, I just think they have the right head coach in place with D'Amico Ryans. You know, I, I think they kind of know how to approach this year. You know, they're back to square one. Now, I know they were I, – I forget who said it. One of their one of the I think one of the players said we're now, you know, one of the teams that are going to be hunted. I don't know. I I feel like you still kind of got to earn your you, you got to earn it. Um, because now they did go on the road and beat the Bengals last season. Let's not forget about that. They did do that. Um, I don't know. Maybe it's just because they, they you know it was against the Ravens who were the best team at that point, and you know it was going to be hard for them to win. Uh, in that environment against that team. So maybe it's just that. But I, I don't know. I, I, I want to see how Stroud... Because, you know, I mean, ball down in Jacksonville against the Jags, and they won by a few scores against Trevor Lawrence and the Jags early on in the season. But we'll see. Um, but, yeah, I feel like they got to earn it. They got to earn being the hunt, the huntees, the, the ones that are being hunted. <laughs> I don't know. Um and, you know, we'll see how they do against teams like the Bills and against the Chiefs later on in the season. You know, we're going to see Mahomes, we're gonna see Mahomes against Stroud, Josh Allen against Stroud. And let's see if maybe this time around they could beat Lamar and the Ravens because that'll, be uh, that'll be a home game for the Texans. And that game, that game's on Christmas, I believe. Yeah. So that should be a very good game. Yeah, because, again, how it's set up... Uh, you have the Steelers playing the Ravens and then the Texans playing the Chiefs, and that is the Saturday before Christmas, and then Christmas falls on a Wednesday this year, so then you have the Chiefs and the Steelers early on, and then you have the, the Texans and the Ravens after that. So maybe third time's a charm for Stroud. Can he beat Lamar? Because last year went up against Lamar twice, went 0-2. So we will have to, uh, we'll have to wait and see. But, um, yeah, I just, I, I don't know if I see a regression. I see, I see improvement. You know, I, I see Stroud, you know, maybe being an MVP candidate. But you know what? It is, it definitely is, a, a, you know, interesting to hear different, you know, takes on things. Because, yeah, not everybody's going to say the same thing. So I just thought that was interesting that he said that, uh, that the Texans could be in for a regression year. I mean, Stroud had 23 touchdowns to five interceptions, a very impressive touchdown interception ratio. But let's see the touchdown. Let's let's see him increase in touchdowns. Let's see him get to 30 plus touchdowns. And he passed for over 4,000 yards, 4,108 passing yards. So, I mean, passing yards probably still get around to, around 4,000, maybe get over that. And I I think he get, I he could definitely get more than 23 touchdowns. I I think he definitely can. Um. But yeah, only threw five picks last year, and that's something that you want to have. You want to have a quarterback that, I mean, it's, you know, yeah. Thank, thanks for, thanks for telling me that. Uh, that no, what I was gonna say was you want to have a quarterback that you know is not throwing a ton of picks. You know, keeping the, you know, taking care of the football. Um, now what I was gonna say is thanks, Captain Obvious. You know, because I know somebody's probably gonna watching this is probably gonna say that, but. Yeah, I, I just, I don't know. I don't really see it, but I do understand, because I've said it too. Yeah, Diggs, how is he going to react when Stroud's throwing a Tank Dell a bunch of times and Nico Collins and Dalton Schultz and Joe Mixon and and, and whoever else is running the football? Damian Pierce, is, if Damian Pierce has a role on this team. Um, you know, how is he going to feel when, you know, there's other guys that are contributing and he really isn't at times? So that that is I, I agree though that is definitely something that we got to look closely at because again left Minnesota left Buffalo so there's um you know it's a common he's a common denominator in that regard so we'll see but yeah I'm really excited for what the Texans can do that is a team that you should be trying to watch as many games with them as possible because they are going to be, that offense is going to be fun to watch. And you know what, the defense, you know, Will Anderson Jr. in year two, they added Daniil Hunter. Um, let's see how this defense is now, you know. Um, right now I look at them as the AFC South favorites. 
So I I I don't think my friend said who he if he thought the Texans were still going to win the division or if he thought somebody else was because that division is going to be tougher. You know, I mean the Colts. I think they're not going anywhere. Anthony Richardson, full year. You know, you got the Jags. And then I feel bad for the Titans, you know, because everybody, I feel like, discounts them. But I, I don't know. We'll see. Depends on how Will Levis does. We, I mean, I've said this a million times. Uh, Hawaiian 5 says, over 25 touchdowns for C.J. Stroud this upcoming year. Yeah, I, I mean, I think he should get in the 30s. I mean, with these pass catchers, I, I, I think he should, I, I think he should get in the 30s. It was just like a down year for quarterbacks statistically when it comes to the touchdowns because nobody I don't know nobody got into the 40s you know um that that was a year and I've said it that was a year that you give that award to a non-quarterback whether it was Tyree Kill or Christian McCaffrey one of the I mean Tyree Kill got hurt, hurt towards the end of the year so that hurt his chances but it should have been either Tyree Kill or Christian McCaffrey. That should have got the MVP. And I know, I know Dak played well, Brock Purdy, Lamar Jackson, who won it, of course. But that was the year to change it up. And it didn't happen. So if it didn't happen then, you know, when is it going to happen? So, it's a quarterback award. They, they got, they, I, I do agree that they kind of have to change it up. Uh, Maybe, but I don't know. That's just my opinion. So let me know what you guys think about that, though. Should they, like, you know, you got MVP and then maybe you have another award as well, you know, because it's just there's been a, constant debates about that. So, and I think CJ Stroud will be an MVP candidate. And there's no reason why he shouldn't be. I mean, I, I'm very optimistic about the Texans. Um, but we will see. We will see. So, we're going to take our final break of the show now. And then when we come back, we will talk about the Cleveland Browns. We'll talk about Deshaun Watson's rehab, as well as uh, Mari Cooper and, uh, you know, his contract situation because he wants a new contract. So, you know, a couple of, of uh, players on the Browns that we'll discuss. And that will take us to the end of the show for today and right into the weekend. So for one final time today, stick around, and we'll be right back here on the GSMC Football Podcast. <laughs> 